This video is brought to you by Design to Flutter, the platform that improves your Flutter coding skills by building real projects. In this video, I'm going to show you to turn your boring login page to an amazing one using hovering animations. Wow! This is part of the UI challenge that can be found in the Design to Flutter subreddit. You can follow along in this video by downloading the starter project. Link in the description. So let's get started. I'm going to show you on how to make a hovering animation with the current image only. You can try out the rest of the challenge yourself. I believe it's simple and straightforward. So let's create a top section of our page, which consists of a couple of widgets. So to get the background started, we need to have a container with a linear gradient. And then we're going to add in our scaffold widget. And then we will have a column layout widget that has the padding for the phone's interface and the image as well that we're going to animate. So let's add all of these widgets together and it will look something like this. So you can see that our image is on the left, not centered. Why is that so? If we open up the toggle debug painting, you could see that the column over here is only restricted to the size of the image. So we want our column to be as big as possible. So what we can do is have a sized box with a width of double infinity. So with this sized box, it allows us to center our widget in our column. So let's add our sized box. So in our column, we are going to wrap it with a sized box and then with the width of the double dot infinity. And now if you were to save this, you could see that our image is now centered. So the next part is we're going to create animation. So in Flutter to create an animation, we need an animation object and also an animation controller. So I'm going to briefly explain what these animation and animation controller are. So animation holds information of an animation, whether you have the information that is going to start, stop, moving forward or in reverse. While animation controller lets you perform tasks such as starting an animation or in Flutter, we call it forward the animation or stopping an animation. So now let's create a simple stateful widget with the animation and animation controller. So luckily in VS Code, we have the shortcut to create a Flutter widget with animation controller. Let's name it animated image. And since we are in our null safe, we are going to add the late keyword in our animation controller. So in this shortcut, we already have our animation controller. Now we're going to create another variable that is called animation as such. So the thing is we do not have to initialize it. So we can just remove the init state and then we can just initialize it using the late keyword. So we're going to make this animation controller its own variable. And now we're going to assign it to an animation controller object. So the vsync will be this widget. And then for this animation controller, we can control the duration. So let's add in a duration of three seconds. So for this animation, we need to add in a type. So this type can be integers, colors, and whatnot. However, we are going to change our image position. So to change an image or widget position, we're going to make use of this thing called the offset. So offset is simply a position. So for offset in Flutter, it's according to Cartesian space. So this is not your normal graph where the origin is in the middle, but for the origin of a widget, it is at the top left. So your offset position is currently zero, zero. If I were to make my Y axis, which is basically the yellow color into one, so it moves one of its height, so one of the offset text widget height down below. Now, if you were to increase the x-axis, which is represented by the white line, then it will move one width of the text widget to the right. So now, if you were to put the x and y-axis to one and one, then the widget will be diagonally to the bottom, but we just want to move it up and down. So we're going to make use of the y-axis only. 
or basically the second number. However, we're not going to make use of the value 1 because it will be too large. So we're going to make it into a fraction, maybe 0 0.08. So inside our animation here, first we need to set the type to an offset. And then we are going to assign not to an animation, but to a tween. So for those who don't know what a tween is, Basically, it is a short form for between. So like I said earlier, an animation or a tween, an object that holds information on when your animation begins and when your animation ends. So for this, we are going to begin with the offset 0 and then we're going to end it at our y-axis or at the bottom, but 8% of its height. Now the thing about the tween is that it allows us to animate our animation controller. So we can make use of this animate method. So our parent animation controller is called controller. So let's add that. Now the next thing is we need a widget that allows us to slide the image from top to bottom. So there is a pre-built widget that allows us to get the animation and animate accordingly. So what we can do is we can make use of this thing called the slide transition. So it is a widget that animates the position of a widget relative to its normal position. So let's add that. So instead of a container, we're going to add the slide transition and then we're going to add in the image of our rocket person. However, it requires a position parameter, which is basically the animation that we have created. So let's add in the position parameter with the animation object over here. And now if we were to save this, nothing really happens because we have not added the animated image inside our column. So we can remove our image asset over here and add in the animated image widget. And now if we were to save this, nothing really happens. So this is because our animation controller over here and our animation is being created but not being started. So what we can do is we can start the animation but the thing is, we want this to continually repeat its animation. So what we can do is we can make use of this thing in our animation controller called repeat. So repeat basically repeats the animation. However, at the same time, if you were to save this, you could see that our image is now going down, but it will just teleport to the top, which is pretty ugly. So is there a way for us to actually, when it goes to the bottom, it, just reverse its direction and go to the top. Well, there is. So we can actually input the reverse property to true. And now if we were to save this, let's see if it works. So it's still bopping up and down, but we need to restart the app because our animation is in a stateful widget. All right, now it's actually bopping up and down smoothly and less awkwardly. So the next thing is that we want to actually separate the clouds from the rocket person in the image. So how do we do that? Well, we can separate it by manually separating it. So what I can do is, I can open the images of the person on rocket PNG, and then I just copy and paste two times. And the first one will be the clouds, and the second one will be the rocket person. And now let's go to the clouds, and for a Mac, you're able to crop out using this markup feature. So what I can do is, I can just use this lasso selection and select the rocket person and then delete it. Now we are left with the clouds. The next thing that I want to remove is the clouds from the person on rocket image. So same thing with the markup, I can just select the lasso and select the clouds and delete them accordingly and make sure you delete both of the clouds. And now you can save this. Now we have images of the clouds and the rocket person. If you change the image to a rocket person, you can see that the image that's moving or animated does not have the clouds. So how do we add the clouds as the background of this current animated widget? So we can make use of stack. So let's wrap this with a column and change the column to a stack. So that's my shortcut. And the next thing is we're just going to add the image assets of the clouds as such. And now if you were to save this, you could see that the clouds are static while the rocket person is just moving up and down. Now the thing is, the animation is pretty bland, meaning that it is just moving at a constant speed up and down, but we want to add some flavor. So how do we add some flavor to our animation? 
Well, we can use this thing called curved animation. So curve animation definition is where you apply a curve to another animation. Doesn't really say anything, but it actually applies a flavor to your animation. So what do I mean by flavors? So inside Flutter, it has a pre-built curves class where it contains the different curves of an animation. So you have like curves of bounce in, you got curve of bounce in and out, but we're looking for something that mimics a floating object, which I believe it is, is in and out. So how do we see if something is floating? We can see at this translation over here where there is this object and then you can see that it's just going up. So how do we add this curved animation into our animated image? Well, what we can do is inside our animation over here, instead of using animate to a controller, we can animate a curved animation as such. And this require a parent and a curve. So the parent that we have used earlier is the controller. So you can just put in the controller and then for the curve, you can add in this curves ease in and out. And now if you were to save this and then restart this whole app, let's see how the image will actually hover. So it actually slows down when it reaches to the top and it accelerates from its beginning to the end. So this really mimics how a floating object or flying floating object should behave. And that's about it. This is how you make a simple login page much better. Well, it is pretty simple, but this is how you create a hovering animation for a certain widget in your Flutter project. So in summary, we learned a couple of things on creating an animations. So the first one is animation itself. Second is animation controller. Third is the curved animation to give flavor to our animation. Then fourth is the offset. That's basically the position of the widgets in a mobile screen. And lastly, there is a widget that allows us to combine all of this to move our widget, which is the slide transition widget. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below and comment down if you want more any animations that can make any of your screens amazing. That's it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.